How did I develop the bass lesson? Well, I wrote a bunch of autobiographical songs. I wrote songs about things that really uh, were, were, were personal, but I thought would sometimes be funny, people would relate to. Um, uh, and, and I wrote hundreds of them, really, hundreds of them. I just was all, I just was writing and writing. I just enjoyed it. I liked the rhyming. I enjoyed write, telling a story and rhyming. I just loved that. And some of my favorite poets were great rhymers, and I loved that. So after a while, I had about a 150 songs, some of which, if you just organized them into a certain form, could make a, a show about the bass. So, so as opposed to being the bass lesson, where I'm teaching anybody to play the bass, it's a song about life as a bass player, life as a musician, um, life out on the road, life in this. So, so I just put them together in some form. Uh, and try to try to order. I'm pretty hard at it to make them make them have a flow and write a book in between them. And uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. And I'm, I, I tend to write another one. You know, I'm I'm working on another one called Nuclear Tulips, which is uh, a nuclear is the chosen way to pronounce nuclear in this country. And tulips has to do with the tulip mania in 1620 in Holland, where people it became the first investment balloon that known where where people uh, blue, tulips became what the internet and internet stocks became and what homes became. I mean, everybody had to have troops, 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 and they went in value to all of a sudden they just crashed. People said, this is a ridiculous boom, and everybody in Holland lost money. So with that in mind, I wrote a song about it, which the Amsterdam Tulip Museum has since commissioned me to record for them, which I did, and they're now showing in the Amsterdam Tulip Museum, and I know nobody's going to miss the Amsterdam Tulip Museum. I mean, you go to Amsterdam, you, but before you go buy some pot someplace, you go and you go to the t Amsterdam Tulip Museum. Um, uh, and, and they bought it. And so, so uh, uh, it seems to have some relevance. And I probably will perform it tomorrow when I do my show. But uh, that's, this, you know, it just came as a natural result of uh, enjoying performing and, and having said, so let's have some, it just could be a theatrical event. And it's a difficult one because bass and voice it ain't easy. People get tired of too many words, and they say, where's the rest of the music? You know, it's like Bach. You play in the top and the bottom, but there's no middle part ever. And uh, you better write the top and the bottom well. And occasionally I have.